hospitals are thinking on their feet and wheels to ensure that coronavirus does not spread among patients. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has that story tonight from Medical Center of Aurora. Good evening, Lance. They've set up an outside triage system, Shannon, which includes this yellow tent and that RV parked behind it. The goal to keep COVID patients separate from those showing up for regular emergencies. And they're going to fine tune this triage system for the numbers that are expected in the next few weeks. We initially screen patients as they arrive here. Respiratory patients enter this tent where nurses ask them a few questions. Be asking if um, you had any contact with any positive COVID-19 patients, any high risk travel, and then we'd also be screening your symptoms. There are symptoms. The patient is sent over to this RV for triage. Here I can evaluate them and disposition them in a much faster process. So if I can screen out my patients who don't need admission very quickly, evaluate them and treat them, I can do five times the number of patients I came through here than I came through the ER if the ER is backlogged with patients who are on ventilators or requiring oxygen. Yesterday, six patients were admitted to the hospital for treatment with ventilators. Those numbers are expected to increase. The main thing we're trying to do is to be able to accommodate the surge of patients that we're expecting. Dr. Eric Hill, the chief of emergency services, says the COVID caseload here is expected to peak in about three to four weeks. He says operating this outside triage and ironing out the bugs will help them prepare for what's to come. He says staff is a little anxious about it. It's the calm before the storm and it's anticipating what you expect. It, I think it does create a sense of anxiety for people um, knowing what's going on. But he says that's what they've trained for. It's just the anticipation of what we are gonna be getting into within two weeks. That's the, uh, that's the anxiety producing component of it. And Dr. Hill reminding people that they're not administering any COVID tests unless you are admitted to the hospital. That means unless you are having difficulty breathing. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.